host Kelly Sparks. Okay. Baby. So I have for me today. What? What? Come here. Come up. Come up here. Didn't even get four words into the freaking video. So I've got batch C919 of Elijah Craig barrel proof, 12 years old. Um, I didn't get the, the second batch for this year because it was 122 proof. What are you smelling? 122 proof, and I didn't really. I I, I still have one on hold. Uh, I didn't want to. Uh, honestly, I, I wanted a higher, <laughs> a higher proofed uh, whiskey, so I, I waited for this one to come out, see what it was, and uh, just have, having to get it. So, 136.8 proof. Uh, I gave her a pretty good shake uh, prior to the video start of the video so maybe I got got everything mixed up mixed up nice and well these are the only problem I have with this specific bottle is this cork itself dries out way too quick for whatever shape the shape of the bottle the shape of the shape of it up here the cork on these dry out way too quick um, and you just got to be real careful because it will get to a point like right now it's 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 got some good good uh, suction and tightness but I've had them where they dry out and they're a little loose at the top so be careful of that all right so funny story um, and I don't know not really a funny story more or less a uh, a heartwarming story Oh man, that smells fucking delicious. Just brown sugar, like toasted brown sugar or caramel. I mean, it's probably, it's up there. This is probably one of my favorite barrel proof bourbons. I, and I, I'd have to do a blind tasting. I've got some barrel proof bottles. I got some uh, sample bottles of some barrel proof whiskeys that eventually once I get about a dozen of them, I'm gonna do a, a two part series or probably a multi part series of blind tastings to see uh, which one's the best. I'll probably put this one in, get me a little sample of this. So anyway, I'm gonna let that breathe for a second. Go to work this morning, 4 a.m. I'm at the gym, I open up. I, four hours pass by so I go I normally park my truck at the front open the gate and then go inside turn everything on we well, usually around 8 o'clock I'll go move my truck over to the side so the owner can park in the front by the gate and I did that so move my truck around to the side of the building parked over on the side kill the truck or put it in park kill the truck get out shut the door and I take two steps away from my truck to head back inside and all I heard was meow 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 I was like started looking around like somebody is jacking with me they put like a little cat meow device on my truck and it just motion sensored I was like looking around didn't see it took a couple more steps meow meow I'm like what the hell it sounded like it was coming from my truck anyway I look around look all the way around the truck look under and pop the hood look in there didn't see nothing didn't hear anything uh kept looking didn't hear anything else shut the shut the hood go to walk back inside meow meow like what the shit so i get down on my knees and i go to try to look up underneath the truck and that's when this little bitty kitten probably no i mean could fit in fit in my hands drop down from the undercarriage of my truck no harm not not harmed nothing wrong with it solid black like as black as my shirt there was no other markings on it whatsoever just like I, I don't think I've ever in person seen a solid black cat that had zero markings um, and it probably wasn't but a few weeks old so I ended up scooping the cat up young enough where you really can't tell what it is or boy or girl because that's 
one of those two options. So I take the cat inside. There was a girl on the step mill who's a, a local lawyer. She saw me holding the cat and she just jumped down off of it. So hopefully she's a cat lady. Not a crazy cat lady, but she's a cat lady. So she might be able to take adopt the, the kitty cat. If not, I might just have to bring the little black sucker back over here and Bonnie might have a sister or brother or something. We'll see how she likes it. On to the whiskey. Wow. That might be one of the better Elijah Craig's I've had. <laughs> what was that? Fly or something. Man, that's just... It's just got those signature Elijah Craig notes. I mean, it's hot. It's hot on the mouth, but not near as hot as you would think for being 136 proof. Take another sip. I mean, it's still, still going. Yeah, that's pretty tasty right there. Super long finish. I mean, honestly, I can't say enough about Elijah Craig Barrel Proof. It's, it's if I if I had to choose, I would pick it, and then maybe Wild Turkey Rare Breed. They're like one and two, depending on my mood that day. As far as like my my two favorite barrel proof bourbons right now, uh, and depending on the batch, I have uh, Elijah Craig. I didn't get to taste the 122 or the last batch, the 519. Didn't get to taste it. And there was a couple from last year that weren't as good as this one. But it's freaking solid. Yeah, some good stuff. Yeah, it's quality. It's quality juice, and if you can find it at retail, it's probably one of the better, better buys out there. 65, 70 bucks, 12 years old, barrel proof, 122 plus, 122 up to 136. It's, yeah, it's all there. <laughs> all right, that's all I got. I got some uh, cool stuff coming next week, some experimental stuff. Uh, yeah we'll get on that next week um but yeah that's about it so don't forget to check the description below for all the links to all the things tattered beans teespring patreon help support your brother out um don't forget promo code for tea or for tattered beans is redbeard coffee so enter that whenever you go to check out and uh check out the bearded idiots so like always folks drink some whiskey share with your friends and family be safe don't drink and drive have fun and uh, take care of your family. You have a good night.